Hello students, so this is the second part of the video which is covering the topic of stability of vehicle in a curved path. So we have discussed this figure, all the forces acting on the vehicle and their directions. We have covered lateral sliding and we have derived these formulas for the sliding velocity and weight transfer. Now in this part, we will discuss lateral sliding and impact. Now, see carefully, a vehicle sliding or drifting sideways may hit a curb stone or grass verge which brings the slide to zero in a very short period of time. What does it mean that when your vehicle is sliding towards the right side, here can be some kind of grass verge or a curb stone or we can say an obstruction to which the vehicle may hit while sliding and your sliding velocity becomes zero immediately. After hitting the obstruction or curb stone, your vehicle will experience a force which will tilt this vehicle towards the right side. Means the vehicle will try to overturn, tilt towards the right side. Okay. At that point, your sliding velocity becomes zero immediately. Okay. So, this what uh, listen what this line says: A vehicle sliding or drifting sideways may hit a curb stone or grass verge, which brings the slide to zero in a very short period of time. A sudden lateral decrelation producing an inertia force M A acting through the center of gravity C G in addition to the centrifugal force. So when your vehicle got hit by a restriction, obstruction, curb stone or grass verge while sliding, there will be an extra force, MA, inertia force, acting in the right side in addition to centrifugal force. And this force will try to tilt or we can say the overturn the vehicle. So this equation we can write centrifugal force mv square upon r plus ma two forces are added mass into acceleration inertia force and centrifugal force mv square upon r these both are added and multiplied with h so overturning couple will be cf acting in right side inertia force ma acting in right side multiplied with h so this will be your couple ma plus cf into h force into distance this becomes your turning couple okay where h is the height of the center of gravity above the road surface we have already seen that r is the radius of the curved path M is the mass of the vehicle and here A is the lateral declaration. A is the declaration. From here we can take M common. So MH into A plus V square upon R. A vehicle sliding sideways or drifting does not necessarily have to hit an obstruction to provide a dangerous overturning couple. So as I have told you that when your vehicle is sliding towards the right side and an obstruction is there, your vehicle will appear a dangerous overturning couple. For example, a car sliding sideways in a wet road, suddenly transferring to a dry surface will undergo a considerable declaration sufficiently large to cause the overturning. Similar example is when your car is sliding on a wet road and while sliding it immediately goes to the dry surface then also the friction will be increased and lateral declaration will occur due to this your vehicle will also experience overturning couple or we can say that when possible all lateral sliding should be corrected and this overturning couple or lateral sliding should be corrected and brought under control slowly for safety Okay, now discuss about overturning. 
a vehicle will commence to overturn when all the vertical loading carried by the inner wheels has been transferred. Now, when your vehicle will tilt, when your vehicle will overturn towards the right side. Now, see in this diagram. When the weight transfer from the inner wheel has been completely transferred to the outer wheels, then your, we can say that your vehicle will tilt in the right side. Means uh, the weight of the inner wheel has been completely transferred on the outer wheels, then your vehicle will tilt in the right side. So a vehicle will commence to overturn when all the vertical loading carried by the inner wheels has been transferred. If the center of gravity is considered as acting in the center of the wheel track, then the value of half of the weight or half of the mg has been transferred. Now see, this w is the total weight of the vehicle. Half of the weight will be acting on the inner wheels. Half of the weight will be acting on the outer wheels. So half of the weight, when half of the weight is transferred from the inner wheels to the outer wheels, then your vehicle will overturn. Taking the moments about outer wheels in the above figure, so from this point, outer wheels, we will take the moments. So let's make an equation, CF into H. From this, we will keep the thumb here and see the force CF. CF into H, which is acting in clockwise direction, CF into H. This is the point of reference. CF into H is equal to half of mg into T, is equal to half of mg half of weight acting here into t, distance is t, okay. So Cf into h is equal to half of mg into t. This is the uh, equation. Uh, put the value of centrifugal force mv square upon r into h mg t upon 2. So from here, we calculate the overturning velocity v. So overturning velocity v is tgr upon 2h or under root meter per second. Clear? Another method to use the resultant of the two forces Cf and Mg when the resultant of two forces passes through the center of the outer wheels contact area. The vehicle will be on the point of overturning. <clears throat> now there is another method to find the overturning velocity is by calculating the resultant force. Now look at it. Uh, this is the weight of the vehicle acting in the downward direction. This is the centrifugal force acting in the right side. And this is the resultant of these two forces. If your resultant is passing through this point, then the vehicle will not overturn. But if the resultant will shift towards the right a little bit, then your vehicle will overturn. Okay, this thing, uh, we will cover in the next part of this video. Hope you guys understand. So the topic is a little lengthy. So we will cover this topic in three parts. So the next part of this video, we will discuss about this resultant force. Okay guys, thank you so much.